Hi, I'm Senator Floyd McKissick from the 20th Senatorial District here in North Carolina. Just giving you a brief update on some of the matters that came before the Senate today. There are two bills of mine which will move forward in terms of being enacted, signed by the governor. The first is Senate Bill 182, which deals with automated license plate readers. These are devices that are found throughout our state today, particularly in our major urban areas. What they do is they capture license tags on vehicles as they pass by, and they store that data. At this point in time, there's no limitations on how long that data can be stored, for what purposes it can be used. This bill is terrible narrowly tailored to deal with those which are operated by law enforcement agencies. There will now be a 90-day retention period for that data. With a need to preserve that data for a longer period of time, there will need to be a federal or state search warrant or sworn affidavit identifying the cameras that are needed, uh, the parties that are involved in that particular litigation, in which case they could uh, store the data for an additional year. And hopefully within that period, that data would be utilized. The key thing is to provide adequate privacy protection for individuals so they don't feel as if they're being tracked or that data can be captured, used, and abused in ways that might be inappropriate. There was also an additional bill that uh, moved forward today and got the final sign off by our State House, and that's Senate Bill 233 dealing with automatic expunctions. You might have heard me speak of that before. It applies to those cases where someone's identity might be stolen or whether there was a misidentification. In those particular situations, if false criminal charges are brought up against you, they were eventually dismissed, uh, they would be automatically expunged, meaning that they'd be erased from the public record, so you wouldn't have to go out and get a lawyer to do that, so that when you went for a job interview or you were seeking employment, or whatever the purposes might be, a criminal record would not appear, or charges might have been dismissed, you'd have to explain, explain with explanations what exactly occurred. Two bills that I think are important, two bills that will help the public tremendously, two bills that I feel as if uh, we need it here in North Carolina at this critical time. Thank you for viewing this particular video and uh, thank you for your interest in what's going on in the North Carolina Senate.